Hey YouTube, Tom with TK Designs here. In my last video, I made an inlaid tray with the inlay recessed into a pocket. That video is linked in the description. In this video, I'll show you how to accomplish this using Vectric VCarve Pro and the VCarve Inlay Toolpath. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. And if you find the video useful, please like and comment. On to the process. <laughs> Okay, so in the last video that I made, I made this tray with uh, butterfly inlay. Uh, the very first thing that I did is I made this pocketing tool path with a bowl bit so that I could clear out some space. And what we'll see is that I made that 6.35 millimeters deep. And when I ran that tool path, it gives me a depth of 6.35 millimeters, which is fine. The next thing we want to do is create a V-carve inlay tool path for the butterflies. Now, in order to do this, I had to highlight all the butterflies, select my V-carve inlay tool path. I used a pocket depth of six millimeters, a glue gap of half a millimeter, and a surface gap of 1.5 millimeters. I had a 10.5 degree V-bit, which is actually a tapered ball nose. And then I'm using a 1 8 inch end mill for clearing out space. I'm actually gonna make the plug side of that on Purple Heart, and I'm gonna use a vector offset of 10 millimeters. Okay, now what we'll do is calculate this, and it calculates both of our tool paths. And what we'll find out if we first run our tray tool path and pocket that out and then try to run our V-carve, the V-carve doesn't show up. The reason it doesn't show up is because it's still set to zero off of the top of the workpiece. So in order to fix that, we're gonna go back in and edit this and we're gonna set our start depth to the bottom of our bowl. So in this case, that was 6.35 millimeters. We can recalculate this. And now, if we run that tool path, you'll see both the clearance tool path and the V-carve put it at the bottom of the bowl. And that's really all there is to it. The rest of the parameters are all the same. We would just go to the CNC and we would cut it and we'd be good to go. So, as you can see, creating the inlaid toolpath in a recessed pocket is easy to accomplish using the V-Carve inlay toolpath in Vectric 12 Pro. Thanks for watching the video and please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. If you really like my content, you can throw a couple dollars my way by using the thanks button on the video. Here are some other videos I think you'll like. Thank you.